Harper Derangement Syndrome on full display at the Red Star. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. We've talked about Harper Derangement Syndrome before. It's a, it's a problem that, well, you hate the Prime Minister so much, it's so deep that it clouds your judgment. You make wild claims and statements with no basis in reality. Uh, according to the Toronto Star, the largest daily newspaper in Canada, Stephen Harper is more dangerous than terrorists that will kill anyone that stands in their way. Yeah, this is a claim they've actually made. Here's the headline from the latest example. It's a column from Tony Berman. Why Harper and friends are a bigger threat than IS. Berman, conservative PM Stephen Harper, Tony Abbott and David Cameron parrot the same message, selling fear to win votes. Now, you could easily dismiss this as par for the course. After all, longtime star columnist Haroon Siddiqui, uh, he wrote a similar column back in March saying, don't fear terrorists, fear Harper. Hmm. So the star saying this sort of thing about Stephen Harper, it's not really news, but it still matters. Let me explain why. As I said, the star is Canada's largest daily newspaper by circulation. It is read quite literally by hundreds of thousands of people. It's the most read paper in Canada's largest city. It influences people. It influences the coverage of other media outlets. And uh, now the star is claiming that Stephen Harper is more dangerous than ISIS. Berman, the man who wrote the column, he's the former head of CBC News. He ran their news department for years, and he's still very influential there. Now, after he left CBC, he was the head of news for Al Jazeera English. Looks like his politics stayed in the Al Jazeera camp, even if he physically left. But now, in addition to writing for the Star, Berman teaches journalism at Ryerson University in downtown Toronto, the most important journalism school for young people that feed the media industry in Toronto. So Berman has influence, and that's why he and this column matter. It's why his Harper derangement syndrome matters. Here's a quote from Berman's column where he claims Harper, Harper's playing up ISIS as a threat just to get votes. Quote, after all, the formula is simple, wildly exaggerate the actual threat, inflame the rhetoric, blame Muslims, brush aside issues of human rights and strap in while the votes flow your way. It is a clever way to distract voters from more immediate and genuine threats such as climate change and the economy. He then goes on to connect Harper to British Prime Minister David Cameron and Australia's Tony Abbott and claims they're also dangerous because, well, they're both on the right and they're both trying to fight ISIS. Quote, it serves the interest of political leaders such as Harper, Cameron and Abbott to stoke fears about the Islamist threat. It allows them to evade more genuine challenges to their leadership. And too often, their nation's news media serve as an uncritical echo chamber for their claims. Funny thing, though, the coalition fighting ISIS, it's not headed up by some crazy right winger from Canada. It's headed up by the United States under Barack Obama, a far left Democrat. France is in the fight. They're headed up by a socialist government. Berman's attempts to make this about right wing political leaders tells you more about him than it does about any of the facts here. Many countries are fighting ISIS, countries with different political systems, countries headed up by right-wing governments, by left-wing governments. And do you know why they're fighting ISIS? Because they know ISIS is a threat. ISIS is an organization that has conquered large swaths of land in Iraq and Syria. They've captured oil fields. They have had loyalty pledged to them by terrorist groups in Egypt and Nigeria and elsewhere. Their goal is a caliphate. They want to rule the Mediterranean. More land if they can take it. What kind of rulers are they going to be? Well, the kind they are now in the land they control. Brutal. If you don't submit to their version of Islam, well, they're probably going to kill you. That means any Muslim not in line with ISIS's theology is under threat. But in fighting this, in fighting to protect Muslims, Berman thinks Canada is engaged in some kind of scapegoating of Muslims. Lefties like Berman, they're always big on protecting minorities until those minorities need help. See, Canada is helping the Kurds fight back. We're also helping to protect Yazidis and Christians and all all the people under threat under ISIS. They're going to kill you or make you a sex slave. Does Stephen Harper do any of this? No. Nor does he throw gays and lesbians off the tops of buildings. Uh, now, sure, I'm, I understand progressives in Canada. They're very upset that he didn't go to the Pride Parade in Montreal. But he didn't throw anyone off a building either. He protects minorities. He doesn't hurl them to their deaths. Berman should be ashamed of this column. The star should be ashamed for having run it. They should be apologizing for making such disgusting claims. But they won't. And mark my words, before we vote on October 19th, there will be similar claims in that paper once again. They simply can't help themselves. They've got Harper derangement syndrome.